Okay, we're here at the luxurious Clarion Inn and Suites in Murfreesboro. Uh, day two of the girls' Class AA state basketball tournament. I'm here with uh, Elizabeth and Athletic Director Mike Wilson. I'm going to get some observations from him. Uh, first of all, Coach, I'd like to ask you uh, what you thought about yesterday's victory over Livingston Academy, 53-46 for the Lady Cyclones. What were some keys to the win for the girls? I think uh, the biggest keys to that win, uh, the number of turnovers, forced or unforced, uh, committed by Livingston, we bring great defensive pressure in the half court as well as the full court. I think that's the strength of our team, really. It's really Everybody talks about how we, well we shoot it, and we do shoot the perimeter shots well. But uh, I think our defensive pressure, full court and half court, I think it's, which is underrated because of the full court press, we bring a lot of more heat in the defensive end than people realize. And, and I think we counted they had around 14 to 15 turnovers in the first half. And for us, we, we played half the game well. We played the first half pretty well, second half not so well. But I think our defensive pressure. The uh, next step up for the Lady Cyclones is Martin Westview. That game is scheduled for 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, at Murphy Center. Coach, what do you think are some keys? Uh, Tiffany Reaches had uh, 28 points uh, in their uh, quarterfinal victory over Martin Luther King. What are some keys that Elizabeth is going to need to do to be able to defeat uh, Martin Westby? Well, again, I think our half-court defense, and I think uh, I think that our kids on the perimeter in particular will play great pressure, and I think that will, uh, honestly, I think that will be the difference. And I also think that we need to turn it into a 94-foot game. We need to go up and down the floor. I thought yesterday, one of the reasons that we didn't play as well as we like, I think it was too much of a half-court game to me. We, we spent a lot of time uh, in the first half executing offense, and uh, we, we are better when we run. I think we need to make it a running game as much as possible, and I think, again, our defensive pressure, particularly on the perimeter, will be key. One more thing, Coach. Uh, Elizabeth is seeking to reach the state championship game for the first time in school history. Uh, hoping to continue a trend for Northeast Tennessee. Would be the fourth straight year Northeast Tennessee team has made the finals. North Green three years ago signed till each of the last two seasons. What would this victory mean for Elizabeth and girls program to reach a state championship game if they're able to beat Mark Westview today? Well, it's been a great thing in all honesty. I think our program's been good for a number of years. I don't like I don't think this is some oh what a shocking surprise or or any major turning point. I think we've had a great program for, for a number of years. Chris Duggar's the second year in a row, and he's been, he's been down here a third time with this group. Not, maybe not with this group of kids, but with our girls. We've been down here, what, four times in, since 2005. So, I mean, I, I, we've got a very good girls program. When you say a good program, the reality is we have good coaches, but we're blessed with great talent, and I think that's going to continue to be the case for a while. So, uh, it would be a great thing to get to the finals. It would, it, getting to the finals is one thing, winning is another. If you win the state championship, I think it's a, a whole other ball game completely as far as what it does for your program. But we have a very strong program. We're going to continue to have a strong program. And, uh, you know, I, I think we almost expect to be there. Well, it certainly has been a good run so far for Elizabeth and Lady Cyclones. 30-3 and three on the season. and. Looking forward to today's game at Burpee Center. Again, today at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, Elizabeth and Lady Cyclones versus Martin Westview in the girls' Class AA state semifinals. I think that worked out for four minutes.